Good morning. It's Good News Friday. You know, I remember talking to a guy, a Swedish guy, this was maybe 10 years ago, and he was very positive about the EU. And I said, you know, I think you are predictable. And he said, what, what do you mean? Well, I think I can predict what you will say about certain issues. He said, he looked uncomfortable with this. And he said, no, no you can't. You don't know what I think. Of course not. And then I asked him two questions. So I asked him, so what do you think about Angela Merkel? <laughs> you like her, don't you? And he said, well, I don't like her, but I'm, sort of, I'm quite impressed with her. You know, she's, she's doing a good, good job as the Chancellor of Germany. And he didn't look comfortable at all. And I said, so what do you think about Barack Obama? <laughs> right. I said, well, I think he's a very good president. Yes. And I said, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> People are very predictable when, of course, when they just listen to the establishment. They become extremely predictable. You can say what they would think, yes. All right, uh, and now we see people very predictably backpedaling, right? There's a lot of this going on. And maybe this is the worst example so far, I think so. Scott Morrison, the former PM of Australia. There's a video where he's talking about <laughs> This and he's, you know, he was the PM from August 2018 to May 2022. So he was right in the middle of it, what happened in Australia, right? And now he says that uh, no, we, the federal government, we had nothing to do with the mandates. This was individual states who decided to go down that path, he says. And the expert medical panel, he said, they never agreed to wide-scale mandates. Not once. <laughs> right. Now, of course, there's a clip also in the video where you can listen to Scott Morrison from the, back in the days when he was talking about how these bad people should be treated, right? Those who refuse to drink the tea. Yeah, I think this was the worst example so far. Right. You know, I remember Bill Gates. He was very happy with Australia, wasn't he? Remember this? He said, oh, Australia, you are doing it the right way. You know, kicking these protesters in their heads, harassing old ladies in the park, you know, building camps for those bad people who refuse to drink the tea. This is good. Bill Gates was very happy with Australia. He said everybody should do like Australia. You know? And now this guy, Scott Morrison, <laughs> is pretending that he was never part of it. Ridiculous. But predictable. We will see much more of this. You know, they have been so happy, all these people now. They've been running to everybody together, happy hand in hand, running towards the ocean. Right? And then when they see the ocean in front of them, they try to pretend that they were never running there or something. They try to turn back now. You know? right. And Australia is paying the price. Now I heard this, Australia has maybe the highest excess mortality in the world right now. 2022. Something like, uh, I don't remember, 12%, something very high excess mortality. And again, very predictable, they will say, well, it's the disease, you know. Uh, wow, well, you took that injection, didn't you? All these people took it. The Australians, they were very good at this, taking the injection. And that should stop you from getting seriously ill, right? Or dying. That's what I thought, you know. Yeah, they are trying to blame it on the disease. 
also very predictable. They will blame anything but the thing itself, the injection, of course. Right, and now we see them trying to turn back. <laughs> uh, all very predictable. Big Pharma, they say, no, we never pushed this stuff on you. It was the politicians. No? It was the government. The governments demanded this thing from us and we delivered it. We never pushed it on you. No? And the experts, they say, we never pushed it on you. We were just saying what the Big Pharma and Fauci was saying. You know? uh, science, basically. We are just reporting on science. Hmm. And media, media, they say, no, we never pushed it on you. It was the politicians. And by the way, they were wrong about this. That's what they now start to say, right? Media. And the politicians, they are starting to say this. Uh, we never pushed it on you. You had a choice. See? You could take it or you, couldn't, you could refuse. It was up to you. you know, I hope that people will learn from this. Because this is what it's coming down to. Will the people learn anything from this? I certainly hope so. I know at least one guy who learned something from this. Well, I know a lot of them, but I know Neil Oliver. I was listening to Neil Oliver yesterday, and he said um, earlier he used to trust the government. You know, if they were liberal or labor or conservative, he sort of trusted them that they would do something good. You know? They would do their best. And now he changed his mind about this. <laughs> so at least one guy learned something from the, all of this. All right. I wish you a great weekend. Be good.